with Precision Zone, and I'm going to be showing you how to do a quick static check on a Magnatech GPD 503 series of inverter. So the first step is we're going to power the drive off, and then we're going to let it sit for some time and let the DC bus discharge. Now on this specific inverter, there is a little charge LED that will go out when the DC bus has been discharged, and we're just going to go ahead and verify that with our multimeter to make sure that we don't get any accidental shock. So go ahead and place your digital multimeter in the DC setting and then we're going to take our negative probe and put it on the negative side of the DC bus and our positive probe and put it on the positive side of the DC bus and take a measurement. And it doesn't look like we're showing anything so this drive is safe to proceed with the rest of our static checks. I wouldn't go any farther if it reads any more than one volt. You should just wait and give us some more time and then recheck it. So the first test that we're going to perform is a phase to ground test. So we're going to go ahead and place our digital multimeters in the resistance function and we're going to find a good ground and place our negative probe there and go with the positive probe between RS and T and U, V and W. In this case it's L1, L2, and L3, and T1. T2 and T3. So that's great, none of them are shorted to ground, so it's safe to move on to our next step. And at this point, we're gonna place our digital multimeter in the diode check function, and then we're going to take the negative side of our digital multimeter and place it on the positive side of the DC bus, and we're gonna take the positive probe and go between T1, T2, and T3, and then take a reading. So T1 is 4.9, T2, 0.5, T3, 0.5. So now we're gonna go ahead and switch the leads. And we'll get 0.49 again, 0.5 again, and 0.5 again. So these are great readings. They're anywhere between 0.2 and 1 volt, and most importantly, they're balanced across all three phases. So let's go ahead and ch check the outputs in the same manner. So we're gonna take our positive side of our meter and put it on the negative side of the DC bus, and then we'll take the negative side of the probe and go between T1, T2, and T3. 0.4, 0.5, Point four. All right, let's switch the probes. The negative probe on the positive side of the DC bus. Go between T1, T2, and T3, and point four two. So that's great. Yet again, they're within the correct range and they're balanced across all three phases. So the inputs and the outputs check fine on this drive. And if you're having a problem with your drive, you perform this same check and everything is the same as what we found here please give us a call at Precision Zone so we can help you figure out what your problem might be. Thanks for watching.